What's going on guys? Justin again. I just got home a little while ago from the gym. I know I haven't done anything for morning stuff at all or afternoon much of anything. It's 517 here in Lynchburg. I'll put the timestamp down there-ish so you guys can keep up with all that. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's why my hair looks like this and like I'm dressed like I am. It's also already getting dark outside. Does it get like that? Where you guys, I don't know where everyone lives. At. I asked everyone who used this to tell where you're located, where you're watching this from a few vlogs ago, but I'd love to know if it gets dark like this elsewhere because I know that like not everyone does the time zone thing not even everyone in the US it'd be pretty cool to find out if it gets dark by 6 o'clock everywhere else because around here it's like 5 30 and it'll get dark anyway so I'm drinking my protein shake I did back today and wow I'm gonna feel that in the morning it was a good one though this morning we did IT breakfast it was good I always have to remind one of my co-workers that we're gonna have like you know see you at breakfast tomorrow morning and he was like oh uh, okay yeah I guess we are he still came late I was like you know 8 30 yeah he showed up closer to nine he walks in and he's like well at least i made it before nine i'm like hey then he moved right across from me our boss who he was sitting next to was like so you know everything's good and it's like yeah i made it before nine o'clock i'm like we were starting at 8 30 it's it breakfast i mean like we do have serious talk about work and like other different things but it's like it's supposed to be a chill fun time just hanging out with the it crowd and i was like supposed to be here at 8 30 he's like really and everybody just busted out laughing and so it was hilarious he's such a humble guy and we love him yesterday i was so close to just getting an actual camera to bring around with me instead of doing this from my laptop I wanted to get an actual camera you know something like point and shoot type thing and specifically for last night the final home game for Liberty University Flames it was also the final performance for the marching band and since we were in it for a few years I was in it for five and she was in it for two we still have friends in it and so we wanted to go and see their performance it was like a very uh, space music kind of show and so I loved it I, I love that kind of music but the best thing about the about the night last night and the main reason we even went really is some of our best friends got engaged to each other so shout out to jeremy and heather if you guys watch this and congratulations to you too because we love you guys megan's not here right now she actually left for new jersey earlier this afternoon took a couple of friends with her i'm not going just because my family is here and her family's up there and so we're celebrating with our families we got to join in the celebration of their engagement and everything uh, for jeremy and heather and you know, tons of pictures and stuff and that, that's why i say that i really wish that i had brought an actual camera so I could show you guys because it, it was great. It was in front of the entire band and a bunch of band families. It was just the final warm-up for the band and after they were done actually warming up, the band director, Dr. Kirk, allowed Jeremy to do kind of like a little bit of a speech, just like a simple two or three minute speech and he went through like four steps of thanking different groups of people and then he got to the fourth one that's when he brought Heather up and it, it was great. There was that and then I don't know if you guys have struggled with the struggle of seasonal jobs but I've had them before and I kind of have a couple of them right now. I'm still working on the Regal thing, but Macy's, for me, it's just I'm picking up shifts. That's all it is. I thought I was going to be assigned shifts, but I guess it's a lot more convenient for me right now because they gave me a managerial position of sorts because I have managerial experience. In light of that, they let me choose my schedule and they have me as a sales associate over the entire store, as I've mentioned that before. I went to pick up shifts and stuff and it's like six and eight hour shifts. I have a full-time job and I applied for a position that was supposed to be like a couple of hours a night and only a couple of nights a week and they put me in this position so I'm not complaining the only thing is it's I thought I would have a lot more opportunities than this I have to be very wise about which ones that I choose because I can be very free with my schedule with TRBC my full-time employer I can work anywhere that there's an internet connection the downside of it is that the full availability that my employer expects of me and the other departments I have no problem helping other people you know I love to do that and I love providing the service that I do but I I definitely want to be able to be earning an extra income so that's why I've branched out to these other places and so I picked two places that I really liked and I had no idea that they would be acting on it so quickly but because it's a seasonal time to start working they're really looking to hire it makes sense that they would pick someone up that quickly they didn't even hire like probably more than 10 people I can't imagine that they hired even that many people I think that might be a contributing factor to why they've been closing a bunch of Macy's stores I, Macy's as a company closed over 200 stores just recently maybe even just this past year I think that they closed about 250 stores and I know that there are a lot of Macy's stores and Bloomingdale's but it was specifically Macy's I'm just like what's the future of this company if you are really into and intentional about a job you love it you put 110% into it you would hope that the company that you're working for can be benefited by your talents your skills your purposes the hope is that I can provide some kind of value to Macy's and
into Regal, which is the, the other company that I applied to be, and I'm waiting on when orientation would be for that, and also TRBC, which, you know, is a much, much bigger purpose than the other two. If you're a Macy's or a Regal employee, then I would love to hear from you guys in the comments about what you guys think and, like, you know, what your experience is with working with the individual companies and any advice for someone who's just getting back into or just starting in. Comment below. It'd be nice to hear from you guys. I don't know if I'll be catching you guys later or not, but if I don't see you guys a little bit later, look at it. It's, it's almost 530 and it's already getting really dark. I'll catch you guys later. Good night.